Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and a little bit of trivia for you. The very first modded APK of CSR Racing 2 was made by me while it was in private beta. The private beta leaked, there was no protection on the game to uh, stop random Joe Schmo from sideloading the APK onto their phone, and I was making hacks and mods for it. Uh, this was way back on Sinful Android. During the uh, tail end of Racing Rivals, whenever this game came, this game came out eight years ago. Isn't that crazy to think about? I believe it was eight years ago. But anyway, I want to learn to like modding again. Obviously, I very much enjoy anything racing, and I need to also just kind of dust myself off a little bit and get back into it and understand it again. Because Auto Legends is going to be coming out, and I want to help the developers of Auto Legends protect the game against hackers and modders. I need to learn IL to CPP menu creation. I need to relearn just IL to CPP modding overall. Luckily, I have some tools that make my life a little bit easier. But for today, we're going to dig into CSR2 again, see what's changed over the last eight years, because I haven't touched this game probably since at least five years ago for an APK hack. I know there's some crazy feature lists out there, but I wanted to show you guys how I would mod this game and go from there. So first of all, you get the XAPK, which is like a combo file from uh, APK Combo or APK Mirror or something like that. As you can see, um, there's the manifest file here for, the, uh, for this file, which I think just calls the APK... Uh, combo installer app tells it what to do and where yeah that's all this does okay not a big deal cool so we're gonna suck the uh why did i say suck and why was it such a hard suck anyway we're gonna drag and drop out the apk i'm gonna also put it in my backup folder so it is external we know this game is il to cpp it needs to be uh we're gonna make my folder And what we need to do is, oh my god, it's still V7A? Thank you. First thing we're going to do is a really old school thing here. I hate 64-bit modding. It is awful. Mostly because it's a lot more difficult. Anyway, we're going to pull the IL to CPP file for 32-bit. And we're going to go to Assets, Bin, Data, Managed metadata and pull out the global metadata and then close the APK because we don't need it right now. Then we're going to just open CMD IL to CPP dumper brag brag and I need to make a dump folder. This is how I always organize stuff for this kind of thing. Just keeps it really easy and now we're going to dump the IL to CPP stuff and go from there. Come on, you can do it. I swear. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little ADHD tonight. Anyway, we need my dummy DLLs and we need my tool. IL to CPP Patcher. This was a tool that I found on GitHub of all places. And I wanted to kind of modify it. Add every byte we could really think of that we need as far as 32-bit. And just make it useful. This auto patches your DLL so you don't need a hex editor. Maybe I'll release it someday. There's some code in here I really need to fix, but I lost the source code, so I'm going to have to redo all of this. But for right now, whatever. Uh, now we need DN spy. And we need the dump. Dumpity dump. 14 and a half megabyte assembly C sharp file. Jesus Christ. So the first thing we need to find, ban. Uh, they're like a get underscore ban. Uh, let's see. I need the G's. Because there is an anti-ban you can do, but I believe there's like a get banned or something like that. Get is banned. I want to see everything we can find in here, basically. 
There are some crazy hacks for this. Oh, get is banned. I just saw it. Get back button. I swear. Get banner. Maybe I didn't. Get is banned. <laughs> Player profile. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this game hasn't changed one little bit. So, don't expect things from me like stage 6 parts and stuff like that because I'm very new to this again, obviously. So, it's going to take me a bit to get good at this again. But, maybe I'll release this APK to like YouTube channel members only. And if you guys are interested, I'll continue developing it. Uh, get is banned. Get is banned. Get is banned. There it is. So I'll show you how this tool works real quick. Very simple. Anti-ban. Offset. And return true. There we go. That's all you gotta do. This tool is amazing. But now let's just go through this entire player profile section and try to find other stuff. Add aftermarket parts. Add Carter Restored for Season. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? What else can we do? We definitely want Infinite Fuel. That's a very important thing to have in this game. Uh, void. I saw, like, Get Fuel or something. Add RP with bonus. Cool. Don't need that, though. Let's see. Voids. All of these voids. Best time is afloat. Our car is in same garage. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Calculate number of restoration parts owned. I wonder if that does anything. What I should have done before making this video is research some of the public APKs that are out there. Uh, I don't really know what the private ones look like, but I want to... Honestly, let's just freaking do everything. Uh, we're going to do this restoration parts owned. Restore parts owned. And we're going to do a really big number. We're going to do like return 12 mil. There we go. Uh, let's see. Can buy any upgrade. I want that to be true. Buy any upgrade. There we go. Can buy car. Can buy Joker upgrade. I don't know what that is, but we're going to mark it as true. Buy Joker upgrade. Cool. Can buy restoration. I'm just going to set all of these to true. So I'll come back after I do a bunch of these and I'll show you which ones I selected. There was a lot in there to do. Um, I don't know if you can see the time on my clock on my computer, but that took a while. So we got anti-ban, uh, restore parts owned, buy any upgrade, buy any joker upgrade, buy any restore, buy any upgrade again, uh, can use fusion parts, can use stage 6, can deliver cars immediately and parts immediately. Unlimited fuel tank, uh, current gold, unlimited fuel, gotcha stuff, free spins, tunes, uh, fuel. Tuning is unlocked for everything, to, regardless of what stage part you have installed. Um, elite customs unlocked, campaign unlocked, season available no matter what. All races are dry, free dino, free fuses, free test runs, and free upgrades. Unlimited fuel, bronze keys, gold keys, silver keys, cash earned. Uh, no demo mode, because the game can force you into demo mode, apparently. Um, the cost? That's another thing I want to find, is how much stuff costs. Can buy car. Was not there. Can buy upgrade. It's none of that stuff. I know there's a place where you can set car cost. Uh, it's probably like a get. Get boost cost. Get automation cost. Gotcha variant. 
Hmm, interesting. So, oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Of course there is. Uh, is Ferrari event? Is free spin available? There is so much to this game you can modify. Oh my god. What does get cost? Just under this event. Should just be a cost. Here it is, yeah. Cost by tier, cost type, fuel cost. Need like dealership stuff. Get cost for car. So product manager maybe it's under here. Is this just an int? Nope, it's a void. I know there's a way to change part cost and all that. It's just finding it. This game is a mess as far as code. Oh my god. This is kind of why I stopped modding this game. Elite license cost. What in the hell is an elite license? I haven't played this game in so long. Gold cost for skip. This is under arrival, so delivery stuff. Let's try modding that. <coughs> I'm going to move this off screen. Uh, gold cost skip. And then we'll do the other one uh, below it as well. We're going to set it to 1. Because this game, I do remember, does not like when things are set to free. I forgot to actually copy this. There we go. Gold cost skip 2. So I don't know what the difference between these is. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm just going to do both. That's gold cost for skip. Uh, delivery arrived, there's all, nothing in there, that's all that. Car loan? You can do car loans in this game? What's the point in that one? I can just buy the car. Oh, you know one thing I really want to show you guys? A very old exploit that I know still works in this game. Perfect. There is a way to modify number of perfect shifts. Shift perfect. There's a way to modify number of perfect shifts at the end of a race. Race. No, we'll just go down to the racing section. Because it's somewhere in there. But you can modify the number of perfect shifts to pretty much anything. Put it to like 4 million, let's say. And then the game will think you did 4 million perfect shifts. And you will get all the money for doing those perfect shifts. It's like the perfect way to make money in the game. Race event data, race events. It's going to be something like race results, probably. Hmm. Race reward. It's going to be in here somewhere. Let me find it. I can't find it right now, but I know it's in here somewhere, unless they did finally change the code. But I know it's doable, and you can actually even do it with Game Guardian. If you just search your number of shifts every race, you can find it eventually. But I cannot find the code for it right now because it's been so long since I've dug through this stuff. Race Rewards Modifier, Race Reward Footer. It's in here somewhere. Oh, set speed. There's a bunch of cool little stuff you can do in here. I at one point did even have just like an auto win. Where you didn't even have to run the race. It would just win. It was pretty OP. I don't know if anybody else ever found that. But I think what I'm going to do is at least try to find car cost and stuff like that. And part cost. And then... I'll save this and will pricing manager. I just saw that. I just saw that. 
pricing manager. What is in here? Cash price, flexible currency price, gotcha fusing profile index, get gold price, get IAP car. Hmm, let's do this. This is a false. IAP car, no. So we set that to false. We're going to set cash price to one. There we go, and gold price to two. Hopefully that's all it takes for, or one, <coughs> for all this stuff is customizable, is super rare. Ooh, it's super duper rare. Sorry. Um, so anyway, we're going to patch. That's how fast this tool works. It's insane. I'm going to go back to aisle to CPP. As you can see, it did patch it. Um, now we add it to the APK. Yes. And then I had somebody recently message me and they asked me, why do you still use, uh, well not message, they left it as a YouTube comment. Why do you still use Lucky Patcher? Because it, I can make it really easy for testing mods like this. So TechX CSR2. And what I want to do is, is it on LD Player 9? I believe it is. What I use it for is basically removing the test signature and all that from the APK. So, uh, folder, that's right. PC shared folder. What I do is I grab the APK. Put it he not here. Put it here. And then I open up Lucky Patcher. Allow deny deny. Go rebuild and install. I go SD card. That stuff is normally here, I think. Yes, it is. I go rebuild and then I do um. Oh, whoops, wrong one. You rebuild, resign with text signature. It removes the integrity check and the signature verification from the APK. And then this makes it really easy to test mods and stuff like that because I can just install it over the other one as long as the APK signature is destroyed. And yes, this makes the APK bigger, but that's not really a big deal. This just makes it so much easier to mod. So in the second here, we will have our APK back. As you can see, it's rebuilding it. There it is. It's about double the size. <laughs> but we can take this, put it back over here. Then we can take our OBB or our APK here, XAPK, and open this up. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the whole XAPK. There we go. I'm going to take the whole XAPK. And I can just put this modded APK into the XAPK underneath the same name as the APK originally. So if I just go here, I go copy, paste. I'll be able to put this into the XAPK and mod it that way. So I'm going to throw that in there in a second when this copy and paste is done and we'll be good to go. Well, we got CSR2 installed. Let's see if it works. It doesn't. It doesn't. It could be the emulator. It could be the APK. I'll need to try it on my phone. But I know my patcher works. So it's not this, but I'll figure it out later. It's probably something stupid, but at least, you know, I gave it a shot. That's all that matters. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.